Hello there, my name is Dr. Hollers and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a project in Replit Teams and how to then annotate and grade that project. So first thing we would do is we go up here and click on create project, select which language you're going to have that project be written in, give it a title and description. We'll talk about group projects in a later video, but there's a really neat feature where you can have students pair program. Once you're done, you click create. And for the sake of time, I've already actually created one here, and so let's take a look at it. Um, by clicking on that, it's going to take you to the IDE. And you'll notice I have a few files here. I have a index.html, it's just got some basic HTML, and the students are filling in the style sheet here. Uh, one of the things I like to do is include a readme.txt file. Um, this gives them the steps that they're supposed to do in order to complete the actual activity. Um, it's a good practice just for them to get in the habit of reading the readme. Um, especially if they're doing things like version control with GitHub. So um, that's all there for them to complete. If we want to see what it looks like from a student perspective, we first need to publish it. So you'll notice it's not published here. I can actually publish it from up here in the top right hand corner when I'm in the project, or I can click that toggle that you saw. So I'm going to click on published, save, and then I can go back and now it's published and you'll see that toggle there shows that. So let's look at it from the student view. We go to the student view, you'll see that there's nothing there. If I refresh, now that's published. Here's their project. And so this student actually started working on the assignment and submitted it. So let's go back and look at how to grade it. So I can click on view submissions and there's that student. And I can click on view the REPL and it's gonna take me into the IDE again. Now, a couple things you'll notice. The navigate here will have a number out of a number. So right now this one has been graded. And the way that you can tell that is because it's checked reviewed, it's one out of one. So if I uncheck reviewed, you'll notice it says zero out of one. So in essence, that's telling you mark as reviewed is similar to saying I've graded it. Um, so this tells you when the student submitted it, who it was, and you'll notice that you can navigate between multiple students. Um, <clears throat> if they had some significant errors and you wanted them to redo it, you could click on unsubmit and then it would make them go back and do it again. You can type directly in here. You still have your file manager with all the information. So here's their CSS styling that they did. And one of the neater features about grading is you can actually do what are called annotations. So you'll see here that I gave them some annotations saying, you, know, you did a great job of grouping um, in this particular um, selector activity. So. I can go in and add an annotation simply by selecting what I want to annotate, clicking annotate, and then I can type in something like this is correct. I can click on the blue arrow or hit enter, and there it is. The neat thing about this too is that students can uh, look at that feedback and see exactly what it's related to. So I'm not having to modify their code, but I'm allowing them to see that that's something that they can actually go back and change or modify if they need to. Um, so once I'm done, I just make sure I check again that reviewed box and you'll see that the one I want selected and that student is graded. I would then go on and continue through the rest of those and that would be grading the entire assignment in Replit.